Hey, what's up legends? It's Travis from The Lawn Lab and welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to episode three. Um, in today's episode, we're gonna be doing a liquid fertilizer application on the front lawn and also getting a mow on with the triplex. So, um, keen to show you around. I gave it a mow yesterday. It striped up quite well with the triplex. So, um, keen to get some liquid fertilizers, get a bit extra color into the lawn and get this thing pumping. So, let's get into it. All right guys, so here's our liquid fertilizers we're gonna be using. Um, so today's application is gonna be our Root Max and also our um, Trace Max, which is a trace elements package. And next week we'll follow that up with our Liquid Iron, which is our green extra. So um, all these products are gonna be going down at the lowest strength or the lowest application rate um, and just spoon feed the lawn and continue pushing that growth and keep it looking in the best. So um, let's mix up and get into it. So what I'll do, I'll just half fill our solo sprayer here, um, put our products in, fill the rest up, give it a bit of a shake up, throw my gum boots on and we'll start spraying. Also guys, the setup here is just a Solo 417, got a brass wand on it and a, um, a twin nozzle boom sprayer and we're running some um, T-Jets in it. So. All right, all sprayed, so. I'll just um, give this irrigation a quick squirt. Now this is a Hunter Pro HC Wi-Fi controller, but our Wi-Fi doesn't actually reach from the house, so I need to sort out some Wi-Fi for the shed then I could just do it all from my phone. Um, Cause doing this is a pain in the ass. But yeah. All right, all sprayed. Irrigation is running and my boots are getting wet. Even now that sun's come up a bit more, the lawn's starting to look pretty good. Ignore the middle, whatever else. It's getting there. All right.
So I thought I'd give you a quick little walk around. I'm in the shade because it's 1.30 and stinking hot. But um, this is a 2008 machine. Um, picked it up second hand. Done a bit of work to the hydraulic rams that lift the heads and um, sent the reels down to Brisbane Cylinder Mowers. He put some new bed knives on and gave them a grind. And man, they're cutting paper mint now. So, um, so like I said in previous video, guys, this is set at uh, 12 mil, um, which is actually as low as it can go. When we purchased the machine, it was set up um, for greens mowing. So the highest height of cut was about 10 mil. So what we did, we just, um, see that we just welded a little bit of metal in there just to get that height up a little bit. So it's not the prettiest machine, but we've got two and a half thousand square meters of turf. So walk behind mowing was killing me. But, but yeah, she's cutting, cutting nice now, so. But overall, the machine runs, runs pretty well. Fire straight up, first go, no issues, so. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a pass around all our edges with the little 17 inch Scotty first, um, just cause the big girl with all this gear off the edge here and stuff doesn't get, um, doesn't get too close to our edges, so. So if you guys are out there laying some stripes and you're trying to get a photo or a video without striping up, you've just got to work some angles. So if you come this way, you can kind of see the stripes. Nothing fancy, but I'm going to come over to this side of the lawn and look back the other way. She's uh, looking the good. So ideally you want to have the sun behind your back. I haven't mowed this yet either. This is just from the stripes the other day. Sorry. I think you can see those stripes a lot better. And this hasn't been mowed yet, so it'll stripe up pretty nice once we mow it. I do have to lower this irrigation head, so if you see me mowing around it, you'll know why. It's sticking up a little bit. Make sure we don't take the top of that. All right, let's jump on this mower and get into it.
Oh man, those stripes are looking the goods, burning them in. So we just done a double cut at 12 mil with the Toro. Um, yeah, really happy with that. We're about three weeks post renovation. Um, starting to fill in now, still that center part where we had a lot of water sit earlier on in the um, recovery, um, but they'll get there. So um, if you guys are looking to stripe your lawn or you want to lay a turf that stripes really well, I recommend Blue Cooch. Um, that little bit wider leaf blade reflects the sun a lot better and gets you some really good stripes. So um, one of my favorite grasses to stripe up. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching guys and I'll catch you in episode four.